hi guys welcome back to my channel again <laughs> if you're new here my name is Winnie nice to meet you uh, so this is yet another DIY video um this is like a beauty room slash closet as you can see I already have my closet there but slash walk-in closet slash office so this is like a work area and I want to like represent me and I want to be able to take pictures make videos um so I'm gonna show you what I did so I went to Ikea and I wanted to do the um, a walk-in closet picked up their pack collection as you can see is right here right here and right there I didn't have I actually didn't pick all my hold on guys I actually didn't pick all I needed from Ikea because um, they don't have everything in stock at the moment so I had to pick up the ones that I have and then I was just my plan was to go to and the plan is to go to like Ikea whenever they have the remaining parts in stock. So I have like 80% of the parts right now. But I'm actually going to go to Ikea today because it sent me a text message that the shelves I need are in stock. So I'm very excited about that. I'm going to show you how my beauty room looks like. I'm going to show you what I'm going to turn it into. Yeah. Yeah. So let me show you how my room looks like right now. And let me show you what the inspo and like what I want to like transform this place into so you know like um you know what I'm talking about. Mm. You walk in, this is the room. It's just this whole this door here is like a second bathroom. This and then this is where I want the packs to be, this entire wall all the way down. So I'm going to like do a display for my bags and shoes in this corner. This is like my makeup station. I'm going to do my makeup here and the rest. And that shelf, I just put random things in my perfume collection. And then right here, I have my mirror. In the mirror, I'm going to do like my get ready with me and my YouTube and lots of like that. So yeah, like that's the plan right now. In my closet, where I just put like my, my everyday clothes and like my sneakers. It's a mess right now guys so please excuse this mess it's gonna be better like soon <laughs> so this wall is about 11 feet long so 11 feet wide and 8 feet long so this packs system is i think it's about seven and a half feet this is the longest they have so i'm just gonna have to do with it and like see how i can you know make it like look full because i don't like the fact that it doesn't it's not gonna reach all the way to the ceiling you know, these are the like the drawers. I'm gonna show you like an inspo where I how I want my my um this room to be. I'm gonna put it right here so you can see like where I'm like trying to you know I don't know if you know Alia says but I love her. I love like how her walk-in closet is I actually want to do something like that but only like one side of her closet. they're not usually easy to understand to be very honest with you so i need a hammer a pencil screwdrivers and a ladder let me show you what i've been doing as you can see behind me i try i actually try attempted to do one first before i start filming because i was kind of like confused on what to do so now I figured it out, but I had to call my brother and he's the one making noise right now. I had to call my brother to so help me with this last part because I, you can't do it by yourself. You actually need somebody. I trapped myself so many times and I failed, so he yeah, help here to help me. So um, I had to just set up myself first before I actually start like showing you how I'm doing it. So after this one, I'm going to show you how I'm making the audio <laughs> frame. Yeah, so. I did it myself. I'm proud of myself, guys. This is one down, four more to go. Let's get it.
First of all, I have to protect my waist because this was serious manual labor and heavy lifting. Just watch me at this point, just do what the Lord Jesus have sent me to do. <laughs> um, I was just, you know, like just reading the manual, trying to figure it out. I've never done something like this before. I'm grateful I did, but yeah. The tutorial wasn't just going to go as planned anymore, so just watch me as I'm putting everything together. I'm just winging it, and it's actually going really well. It's going really, really well. So, yeah, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> At this point, I was getting so frustrated. I needed my brother again because this back, the back of the wardrobe frame, you can't do it by yourself. I don't know why I was trying to do it by myself, but you cannot do it by yourself. It you just keep falling and falling, and that thing is so fragile. It can literally bend and break. So I called my brother to come help me. Yo 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 yo. So I already um did the um, the drawers. So it's left for me to put it on the wardrobe frame. I already put this one on the test. And then when I this was the first one I actually did and then when I realized when I put it here first, you can see it's like higher here. It was way too high because the drawer is like this big, so it was just way too high for the shelf, so I had to bring it lower. So I'm going to take this out. 
and level it with this and the rest of them. This is how it looks at the moment. Love it. Hey guys, so this is day three of me building my closet as you can see it looks so good but i haven't finished yet and the reason why i haven't finished yet because obviously i have neighbors downstairs i don't want to disturb them and um it's been getting dark so i've decided to just finish up today honestly i've been doing this by myself for the past two days and it's been really slow because of that and i don't want to kind of i don't want to you know elongate this so i've decided to call my siblings to help me um finish up so i can finish up tonight and show you the review tomorrow because it's already evening i had to i just came back home um yeah so i'm with my boyfriend and my siblings to help me finish up the closet but for now let me show you the progress i've made so far to join the um the um, wardrobe frames together and then i have to close wood strips to close it so it actually looks like one so i went to home depot yesterday i went to home depot yesterday and let to get wood strips and a crown molding for the top of the um for the top of the wardrobe frame i want it to look as professional as possible so i don't want um it to look very ikea-ish you understand what i mean so i got this crown molding i plan on painting it white a lot of details are but it's wood so i have to paint it white so you can go with my ikea frame i got this wood strip from home depot i got three of them so i can be able to cover the front part of my wardrobe frame so it looks like very professional but these guys are way too long so i have to go back to home depot and cut them yeah i have to go back home depot and cut them i don't know why i didn't cut them i thought it was the difference was going to be a little bit but it's actually a lot so i have to go and cut them go back to the home depot and cut them and then and then let me show you other things i got from home depot i got um wood glue for um putting the wood strips on my wardrobe frame and i got these nails and um dry drywall anchors to be able to drill my wardrobe frame in, into the wall because obviously it's not going to be wobbly so i bought this as well uh, yeah that's it that's all i've bought so far from home depot so i hope i'm able to finish it today right now i have to run to home depot and pick up and cut these and finish everything i need for the so we got so busy and got so late so we had to do it the next day so after i did the wardrobe frames the next part i couldn't do it myself because it required a lot of heavy lifting and carrying so i invited my brother and my boyfriend to help me merge the wardrobe frames together to look like one and then drill the wardrobe frames on the wall it was very important to drill the wardrobe, wardrobe frames on the wall so it doesn't collapse or fall but this was really what I expected. This was really what I wanted. I Those wood blocks. I, I don't know if you can see inside. Let me show you how it looks. So we had to put in the wood blocks so that the cabin, the wardrobe frame can actually stay in place. Obviously the nails are sticking out there. The nails are sticking out there because the wood blocks were not big enough so we had to use long nails to hold it in place so you can see it's resting nicely yeah i was able to put the wood strips in there on the wardrobe frames it gave this custom closet feel to any like walking wardrobe so that was like a finishing touch on the wardrobe frame i didn't want to see those like lines looking like i joined them so yeah that's why i got the strips i left this for another 24 hours so that i can be able to clean up and clean out the residues and that's what you see at the edges mm -hmm.